Okay, ladies and gentlemen, our third bout of the evening is a welterweight bout consisting of three two-minute rounds. In the blue corner, we have Declan Marshall weighing in at 68.8 kilos, fighting out of O'Brien's ABC. And in the red corner, weighing in at 66 kilos, we have Chris O'Fee. <laughs> It's another hotly anticipated battle, but this time it's an external fight. So hopefully Chris Oldfield can look to harness look to harness the home crowd support here to go into the That's fight. Chris Oldfield in the red corner, Declan Marshall in the blue corner. The seconds out, who's gonna land the first punch here? It's all about getting in those early exchanges. Round up, run! Oldfield. Marshall looks a more professional fighter here. He's definitely getting these early exchanges punches here. Nice little left jab there. Just count, punch and counter punch. The audience has gone completely silent here. This is early exchanges. People looking to assert themselves in the first round, and it looks like it's Marshall who's on the front foot. He's definitely getting these combinations. Sharp punching here. Quick hands. That's all you need. Oh, but the crowd are definitely working up to the throw in the wall field, landing that punch there. There's another one. Keeping his guard up. Going on with the left. Just needs to keep up his tight defence. Hopefully not let any of these punches through. As soon as he goes for a punch, he leaves himself vulnerable to attack. Here we go. This is, this is what I'm talking about. Marshall coming in with these combination punches. Straight punches. He's definitely got a plan up his sleeve. Yeah, he's looking to go on the counter attack and try and get Oldfield to make the mistake before going in. But that's a nice... Straight left there from Oldfield. But here comes Marshall. Oldfield again. Oldfield again with the left. Sorry, that's Marshall. <laughs> Trying to get him on the back foot, but there's quick fit work here from Oldfield here. Oh, and he goes in with a lovely right there. Nice straight punches, but Marshall comes back with the counter. And this is a nice combination. He's got him on the ropes. Weighing each other up near, sizing each other up. Oldfield goes on the attack. Probably on as even at the end of the first round, but I'd say that Marshall probably has a slight advantage. He looks like the more experienced fighter. Hopefully that Oldfield can draw on the home support as we go into the second round. Vixen getting a lot of attention, as always, from the crowd. And then makes a hasty exit. So Oldfield will be going across with the coach and seeing what he can do to counter this, what looks like quite brutal onslaught from Marshall. Will he try and change tactics, or will he still try and go with the straight punches? He's not landed many yet. It looks like Marshall has probably got the upper hand. He looks pumped. He's pumped and ready. So the body language speaks volumes here. As Marshall is up and ready. Oldfield oh, doesn't want Round to get before the fight. Here we go. And Oldfield oh, tries to get a first punch in, but Marshall is there, quick to respond. Lots of counters going on here. Straight left there from Marshall. But Oldfield oh, comes back with one of his bones. Oh, but Marshall's really going on here. Bit of clinching going on. That's a big, wild swipe there from Marshall. Looking to get this overdone with very quickly indeed. And again with the straight punches. Dancing around the ring. He's very light on his feet and he looks very aggressive here. Oldfield doesn't look like he's much of an answer. He really needs to start landing these punches. 
looking for an opportunity. Is he going to get through that defence? Not yet. Keeping his gloves up. He doesn't want to get hit in the face. A lot of manoeuvring around. Oh, but that's a good, good landing punch by Goldfield. But he gets caught unawares again with the counter. He doesn't seem like he can get his foot into this ring, into this round at all. Any move he makes, Marshall comes straight back, as he does so there with the right and left combination. But Oldfield is definitely trying his best, showing a bit more intensity in the second round. It's punch and counter punch here. They both landed punches. If Oldfield can just get him in the corner, just get him in the corner of the ring. Nobody's he's being pushed back. He's being pushed back here. Marshall definitely showing the better footwork. He looks the more experienced fighter, as I've said before. He looks like he knows what he's doing. Oldfield, rabbit caught in the headlights almost. He's looking for a way through. He can't find one. Oh, he's, he's landed one on the right-hand side, though. That's a nice hook there from Oldfield. Marshall taking evasive action there. Is he going to try and wild swipe? Try the haymaker. Try and floor him. Ducking and diving. Evasive, fainting. Oldfield's looking at it. Good combination there from Oldfield. It's a lovely combination of punches. A nice right, left, right, left. Probably on his even at the end of that round. But Oldfield's going to have to do a lot in the final round if he wants to win this fight. And the Vixen makes an appearance again. And off she goes. I'm pretty sure that quite, probably quite a lot of the guys have just come for the ring girls, but for anyone else there who's interested in boxing, it has been quite a good night so far. This final round is absolutely crucial. Oldfield really needs to get his head in the game. He's just not getting off and cannot seem to put He cannot seem to get started, but he really needs to. This is very crucial. Oh. There we go. Oh, Phil on the attack here. Oh, Phil again, but Marshall coming back. There's a nice uppercut there from Marshall. Employing his full array of strokes here. Punches. Oh, getting a bit of a telling off there. Clinching and then fighting back. Oldfield should seize the initiative here. You should see that gap between the two boxing gloves. See it through the guard, he gets one through. Can he get another? It's almost wild, aimlessly swiping. It's desperation setting in now. Crowd willing him on here. He's not looking as compact as Marshall though. Marshall looks like he's got upper hand here, but that's a nice right hook from Oldfield. Can he get his head back in the game? There's another left. Punch and counter punch. Is Marshall looking a bit tired? Did he put in a bit too much, a bit too soon? That's a lovely punch again from Oldfield. Is this the round that can turn it? Just needs to land a few more punches here. Marshall going in again. But Oldfield is definitely fighting back. He's trying to land them on the, on the helmet. Can he connect? This is all about connecting those punches. He's swiping, but he's missing. Can he get a few? Can he, can he rack up the combinations? Can he just keep it simple with a straight left and a straight right? Maybe chucking a few jabs there. Just looking for, looking for this opening. He can't find it. Marshall ducking and diving around, but he's got him on the ropes again. Nice little combination there, left, right. Oh, that's a lovely right hook. Seems they're just punching each other's gloves at the moment. But they're going to work the body. Come on, he looks the aggressor now. He looks like he's got aggressive. It's a lovely punch from Oldfield again. He's, yes. Oh, he's got him again. Can he get him? Oh. That is a very, very tough fight to call. Oldfield definitely had the better of this round, but has he done enough to win? That is the question. Marshall definitely looked like he had a lot more experience, but 
Old Field did not give up. He had the home support, he had the home crowd cheering him on. And will that be enough? Only time will tell here. And Old Field goes to congratulate Marshall and his coach. I'd put my money on Marshall to win this, but I don't know. Some of those punches that Oldfield threw right in the last round could, could give him the edge. I'd say it was a bit slow to get into this fight. And now we await to see the winner. Okay, the judges have counted their scorecards. And the winner in the red corner of the Spanish decision is Chris Oldfield. Very well fought battle there. Oldfield has managed to pull it off. He looked to beat a man halfway through the fight, but he's come good and he landed those punches when it really mattered. I really didn't think they'd make that.